What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So today, we're going to be doing a newer player focused video. It's also going to be a live commentary. It will be a tutorial on how to do Kuva Floods and Kuva Siphon missions in the current year of 2022. Just in case you've never known how to do these before. And these missions I'm talking about are the ones that are on your star chart after you've beaten the War Within story quest. You can go to your alerts button right here. And these are listed. You could technically just go find them on the uh, on the star chart, but the way you can tell where these Kuva missions will be is you want to be looking for this Kuva Fortress node right here. Whatever planet it's next to are the planets the Kuva missions will be on. So if we zoom in on the Kuva Fortress, where it's next to uh, Phobos and Eris, so it will be on some planet around here. So let's just click on Phobos, and as you can see, we've got the the three Kuva Peppers on this spy mission, and we've got the singular Kuva Peppers on the exterminate and a couple other missions too. So basically, when you see a singular Kuva Pepper, that means the it's a Kuva Siphon, that you'll get about 600 Kuva without an, uh, a resource booster. And if you see the triple Kuva Pepper, that is going to be a Kuva Flood, giving you 1,200 Kuva without a resource booster. Resource boosters, the orange ones that you can buy from the the market and all that, that gives you double the resources. It does give you double the amount of Kuva from these extractors. So we're going to show you how you do this because I've seen plenty of people, MR20+, plus, still not know how to do this. So I'm also going to give you some build recommendations as well. All right, so basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have beaten the war within. You have access to the operator afterwards. And as far as like gear and all that, just bring whatever your strongest thing you currently have is. So for example, if you have an Umbra Forma Wukong Prime build like me, Sure, it's going to be great. You're going to have the Celestial Twin to watch your back and use another gun. You can heal at any time and turn invincible with Cloudwalker, the second ability. And we've got Defy, making us get increased armor and stuff like that. The fourth ability is a crazy stick that does some damage, but I don't use that as much nowadays. We're basically just trying to make sure that we don't die in this mission, because we'll be in the Kuva Flood version with level like 90 to 80, 80 to 100 enemies, to be honest. Your weapon of choice should be whatever you get the best uh, builds on. If you're MR9 or higher, you can have the Ignis Wraith, which you can get from free for free from Trade Chat or from some clan member or stuff like that. So basically, get a good build. Viral Heat's pretty good. Corrosive's pretty good. Uh, Radiation's pretty good. You want to make sure you're putting multiple different types of elements together to make a combined element. So as you can see right here, I've got a Toxin mod right here, and I've got an Electric mod right here making Corrosive damage. Pretty good against a Grenier. You will be fighting against Grenier a lot of the time in these Kuva missions. The companion you want to bring is going to usually be the Smita Kavat. Make sure you get one of these guys. They're really good. They have a special ability called Charm. Once every 27 seconds, it's got a chance to proc uh, a special little buff. It's got a bunch of buffs it can choose from. One of them gives you double resources for about two minutes. That double resources stacks up this double resources that you could have potentially bought from the market, giving you four times resources, sometimes even eight times resources. And what we're also going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have the operator unlocked. Like I said, the war within. Um, go over here and make sure that if you have a special amp, make sure you equip the special amp. Because you can do this with the moat amp and it's not very fun uh, just because the moat amp is not very good. But um, I, I'm going to recommend that you get like an actual good amp. Like the one I'm going to be using in this one will be the Voice of the Void, which is going to be the Lega Prism, which is basically a flamethrower launcher. We have also the Propa Scaffold, like a grenade launcher, explosion thing, and the Amspatha Brace, giving us increased operator regen. So we're going to do this with just Void uh, void Dashing and Void Blasting, which is basically operator bullet jump and operator melee attacks. You need to have access to the operator to do this. I can't stress that enough. So we're going to go back to the navigation. We're going to do a solo Kuva Flood, and I'm going to show you guys how this works. So we go to our alert bar right here. Click on the triple uh, Kuva Pepper one, level 80 to 100 enemies. This is a spy. So... One thing that you will need to remember for this, the Kuva Siphon is a special, it's a secondary objective that spawns in these missions. You need to go hunt it down. There's certain tiles and certain planets where hunting down that Kuva Siphon might be harder than you might think. It will usually mark itself when it's like a, you're like one or two rooms away. So just, you know, it's going to take some getting used to. Remembering where all these spots are is going to be up to you. So we don't really need to kill these enemies at all. We can just, you know, walk past them. If these are level 90 Corpus, you might just want to avoid them altogether. Make sure you're using your abilities to become more tanky. As For example, we're going to use our secondary uh, clone here. He's the punchy enemies for us. Very, very good to have a Wukong for this. Especially a spy mission. So we can turn to a cloud and just quickly fly through the map looking for that Kuva Siphon. You'll hear the sound. You'll remember the sound once you hear it a couple times of the Kuva Siphon. Alright, so we're just going to do the spy mission as normal. Just like any normal mission. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Just hack it up. 
Wukong, a great top tier spy frame. And that is the vault we're going for. So, we're going to turn into a cloud. I, it will not let me out of the corner. Okay, cool. That was very strange. <laughs> uh, we are just going to get into the spy vault. Alright. So, yeah, things to keep in mind here. Survivability is your main uh, your main concern here, guys. So if you have someone like Anaros, you have someone like Hildren, um, if you just know what you're doing on Revenant or something like that, that's going to be your, your main... Uh, your main priority. Killing enemies is, is, is completely secondary to what we're doing here, and actually it's completely optional in many situations, unless you're like forcing an exterminate mission or something like that. Um, just keep going towards your objective. Try to play the mission as normal. If you find the siphon, that's that's when you, you basically turn the switch in your brain to start doing the mission differently. So we can actually just go for all three of these five vaults. All right. And since Wukong is very good, we can just jump right through the lasers in cloud form. Alright, Wukong is like the most easy frame in the game to play, to be honest. So, Once you find the Siphon, that's when the the rest of the tutorial will start. So as you can see, this, this mission starts out as a Corpus mission, as it's a normal Corp Corpus mission to be spawned on. But once you find the Siphon, that's when Grenier starts spawning. Corpus will also spawn too, so it basically becomes like a, a fusion mission with both enemy factions at the same time. And they will fight each other. They are not on each other's team. They will fight you. And as you see, we have found the Siphon. So here is where... The tutorial comes in play. This thing is going to be basically giving you Kuva. We want to destroy it by destroying these four braids. Shooting the Kuva Siphon with guns does nothing. Punching it does nothing. Abilities do nothing. The, the way you destroy this thing is you want to watch these little tendrils. They will point in the direction that a, a red Kuva cloud is flying from. What you want to do as a player, get into your operator form. And watch where the tentacle is pointing. It's pointing over there. We're going to go this way. We're going to void dash over here. And we're looking for the Kuva Cloud. It might be kind of hard to see for some people, but it's right there, faintly. And what you want to do is void dash through it or use the operator melee. That will also do some void damage to destroy that Kuva Cloud that's flying towards it. Now if we look at the siphon again, that tendril that's pointing that direction is now destroyed. We are one quarter of the way through getting our Kuva out of this siphon. These guys right here, you might remember them from the story mode. You want to disarm them, and you want to take their, their cash eggs away, their, their weapons, to actually destroy, uh, and to kill them afterwards. You cannot kill them unless they drop their cash egg on the ground. Alright, so it looks like we killed one there without even trying to. This this tendril was pointed in that direction. The Koopa died because I avoid blasted to disarm the Guardian. It's, very quite, it, it's actually quite easy once you have some good gear. Like I said, survival is your main issue here. You might want to play Limbo and go into the Rift. Become invincible while on the rift. Let's go for this third one. This is where having a good operator amp is very helpful because we can basically just use our flamethrower and kill the Cuba Cloud, not even knowing exactly where it is. AOE explosion amps, like the Pro Pot and the and the Track Soon, gonna be really, really useful uh, just for letting you be lazy. Because you don't wanna like honestly, once you get this down to a, a science, you're not gonna be wanting to pay attention to it too much. That's why I say bring frames like Anaros, Hildren, Wukong. So now that we know that all three of the tendrils are gone besides this last fourth one. We're going to look in that direction and just predict it. So I'm actually going to let this one fly into the siphon just so you can see how that works. So we know that we could easily destroy this one, but we're going to let it fly into there. So the cloud's right there, very hard to see. You can actually hear what it's coming from. If it, if it arrives to this tendril before we kill it, that red uh, box right there will get filled in, as you can see right there. Don't worry about that. As long as you are able to kill the fourth braid before that last one gets filled in, you'll still be fine. If those all get filled in, you messed up that badly, you need to rewatch this video, and then you will lose this. You will lose all the coup if they all go in there. So you want to basically make sure that you are, you know, make sure you're the master of your own mission. I, I just killed the last one there. We saw it. We, we operator uh, void meleeed, and we got our Kuva, 2,400 Kuva, as I do have a resource booster. And that's it, guys. As you can see, the Grenier just disappeared. That guy's still around. But the, the big Chonker Grenier, the uh, Kuba Guardians, they have despawned. Those guys are annoying. They will despawn after you kill the Siphon. And yeah, you, now that we've done this, we get a guaranteed Requiem Relic. The Kuba Siphons, the singular uh, Kuba Pepper, like level 30 missions, have a 50% 50 chance to drop a Requiem Relic. The higher level one we just did is a guaranteed drop of a Requiem Relic. And those Requiem Relics, you can open them up in Requiem Fissures to get you Requiem Mods. will let you fight the Kuva Lich. Fighting the Kuva Lich will give you access to some of the strongest weapons in the game. So you definitely want to start doing Kuva Siphons and Kuva Floods. 
sooner rather than later. This also lets you roll ribbon mods and craft certain items. Ribbon mods are some of the strongest mods in the game, potentially. Also, they are, are a very easy way to get some platinum if you get lucky. So, this is something you probably want to eventually get into. Um, and yeah, just basically the, the, the real basics of it, guys. You want to just make sure that you watch that braid. If it's coming from the left, get ready to shoot at the left. If it's coming on the right, get ready to void dash on the right and void melee on the right. That's all it is. No guns. You could do the entire thing with no guns. You could literally not kill a single enemy in that entire mission, and you're still going to get as much Kuva as the guy that was killing everyone. So, that's basically the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to try to do some more like newer player-focused videos going forward. Not all the time, but just sometimes. Um, and I know a lot of the gear that I was using here was for higher level players. It's just stuff you can work towards, guys. Wukong Prime is a great frame you can get from uh, like Trade Chat and stuff. You can get normal Wukong. The, the normal version of what I'm running, you can get this as a low MR player in your clan dojo for free. Wukong normal comes from your clan dojo. Doesn't require any like fancy builds or anything like that. Just put duration on there and you're fine. The uh, If you're doing the story quest, the Nataruk that you get from the story quest will be fine for this. The Broken War is it probably would have been better than what the melee I had equipped there, to be honest. This thing is highly slash focused. Story weapons you can get through these Kuva Floods with, guys. It's all just knowing what to do, knowing how to use your operator properly, and you know executing on it. So if you have any suggestions or ideas of build, uh, build videos and like build guides and gameplay guides for these types of uh, topics, let me know down below as well, guys. And thank you so much for the support. Take it easy. Peace.